everybody, it's Cindy from Limits, and today we're going to be tying the light to Cat Hill. Now, this is a normally known as a wet fly, but we're doing trying it in a dry fly form. And yeah, if you don't know what this fly is, I'll put a little photo up of it now. And yeah, it's a super simple fly. It's really fun to tie. I've been tying a lot of lately. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more. See you guys in the tie. So for hook today, we're going to be using a size 12 dry fly. We're going to be using a mountain fly A dot fluorescent yellow in 72 denier. We are going to be using some Adams Gray Squirrel Dub in uh, just like that. And then just some Grizzle Hackle. So you're going to want to start about um, a eye length. So imagine this thing here, that far back. Not too far forward. And just tie back and take your tying scissors. I like to use these spring loaded ones, they work absolutely phenomenal. Nope, pardon that, I did not see that. Um, and for tail, you can rather use. I like to use rather the ends of the wood duck flank or just some large grizzle hackle fibers. I'm going to use the large grizzle hackle fibers and you're just going to strip off about a dozen and a half fibers creating a pretty thick but stable tail just like about that much and you're going to pinch them together and measure just how much you tied on so to the just past the hook point just like that and you're just going to do a pinch loop and tie it on nice and tight just continuing to tie back right here and snip your butt ends clean off then just creating a nice body for the dubbing. This is going to be a pretty thin dubbing body and then you're going to want to come right back up to about here and you're going to take your wood duck flank and you're just going to find not too big of a clump because I find these feathers are pretty hard to come by right now. So take, be pretty sparse about it, about that much. And then you're just going to tie the, it's, the wings about are going to be a shank length long, so you're going to want to tie it on just like that, onto the point where you want the wing to come up, and just tighten it back, just like. And what this does, tying it up close behind it, is it just lifts it up. Let me just lift the tripod up a bit. Just like that. Yeah, let me just adjust it. Give me a moment. There you go. Now it won't move. Um, and then you're just going to cut off the excess. Or you can wrap back on it so you can cut off not too much, just like that. And then wrap back on it so it's really secure. And there you got your wing in place, so you don't have to worry about that. And then you're going to take your Adam's Gray and just rub it on, creating a pretty thin dub noodle. This is pre-waxed thread, so it works great. doesn't really matter how thick you make the noodle. It's all up to you. All your preferences. I'm doing a taper noodle, is what I like to call it. You're just gonna go like this, and then you're gonna have one loop in front of it, 
in front of the wing, but I'm just going to tighten it. Tighten the dub loop. No, not the loop, sorry, the, just the dubbing. Go pretty spacey in front of it and come back. Just like that. And then you're going to take your hackle, try to get pretty skinny. This is a high float dry fly, so it can be a pretty large hackle feather. Just use what you have and your preferences. I like to use this size. It's very large, but I enjoy it. I enjoy fishing large hackled flies because they float better in the water, I find. And you're just going to create a little tie-in point by stripping the hackles back and cutting off right there. See how it created a little thing there? And you're just going to go like this, one in front of the eye, and just creating its head and securing it. Then you're going to take your hackle pliers and you're just going to attach it and wrap your hackle. It does not have to be perfect to catch fish, obviously, just like most flies. Sometimes even the worst of flies catch fish. It's just what works. Once you have your hackle wrapped, it's going to be a bit messy, but I like to just hold it there, bring these back, and just keep the stem out, and then I tie on the stem, tighten it down, do a couple tightening loops, then I pull it back and cut it off, just like that, pull everything back, and just create your nice smooth head, fluorescent head, cut off any trapped fibers, cover up the little things and then with all see how it's all pushed forward you're gonna want to pull these forward so it's just a nice simple large hackle fly and you're gonna want to find your wing make sure that's standing up straight just like that and you're just going to Pull this back a tad bit, even though you just spent all that time doing that. Let me just move this back a bit so I can get some whip finish room. I find it's oddly hard to do a whip finish with a giant camera in your way. But, just nice. Try not to trap any fibers, but if you do, you can just cut them loose. We're going to do a double whip finish here and then apply our head cement right after. So after about a five, six loop, you're just gonna want about one, two or more, whatever makes you comfortable, and just snip it off. Just like that. And then obviously, there might, there's a little bit of thread here just left, so I'm just going to cut that right off. Because we do not want that. Then you're just going to pull your fibers forward. Make sure that wing's up nice, so you're just going to drag it forward like that. And there is your light cahill. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Then you're just going to take some hook and hackle. Head cement is what I use. I highly enjoy it. And you just take a toothpick or needle or whatever you have. And then just let this puppy dry. You can use UV resin and secure it, and then put a coat of, of head cement if you'd like. And there is your light cat hill. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and tune in for more. Fishing videos will be coming soon as, as soon as I catch some fish on film. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay safe.